Hi guys, this is Chris from Vert Photography. Thanks for watching. This tutorial we're going to look at a green screen nightmare. I recently went to a comic convention here in my city where I set up my photo booth, my green screen photo booth, and took pictures of all the people that uh, had these awesome, amazing costumes on and I place them in front of a, a cool movie poster type template like this photo here. If you want to check out the gallery from that event you can go to Facebook slash Vert Photography and go to Ottawa Pop Expo booth 2013 gallery and you can see all of the different I mean there's hundreds of different pictures I took and this was all done on site very quickly. Each one took about 30 seconds to create. I was able to do this because I was using Photoshop with uh, PhotoKey 6 Pro. And that's a piece of software by FX Home that basically special specializes in green screen photography and removes the green from your images uh, really well and you get really uh, high quality results from it. A photo like this, again, it took me about 30 seconds and you can see the key on it. I mean the feathers and the details are still there so it does an, a really wicked job. And it was all about speed at this convention. I didn't want to make people wait, I didn't want to have to do a lot of work uh, after the event. I wanted to uh, get the image for them right there and print it out so they could uh, go on their way. So everything was going good until this guy walked into my booth. Dun dun dun. Cue dramatic music. A green on green. How am I going to key this out? It's actually going to be really difficult to key it out in one shot. But with PhotoKey Pro and Photoshop, uh, you have at least a fighting chance to get this done in under 60 seconds. So I'm going to try to show you how to do that and the process to do that. Uh, starting here with my background template. Uh, again, this is Photoshop and I have my images and my color adjustment layer set up already. I just have to find the photo I want and drop the guy in. comes in automatically as a smart object and you can resize it and uh, reposition it. Once you have that done, basic setup, you want to go next into Photo Key. So you select Filter and go to Photo Key, Edit and Photo Key 6 Pro. And basically it takes you into Photo Key the plugin for effect for Photoshop and it gives you all of the keying control of of photo key right here so obviously again I already said it it's it looks bad it looks bad but there's a few things I want to do in here to make it easier for me in Photoshop I want to actually bring back some of the image data looking at his arm here. I'm going to actually bring some of that back so I can see it better in Photoshop. Um, I know down here on his leg I want to see the outline of that which I have and I want to see the his arm outline. I'm using the gain control all the way to the left it, it brings the data back gray but I want to have it around 50 or 60 for this. That will give me a, a good start at least. Um, also, I mean time is essence so I, I could do more to get a, a better key but this is good enough and I'm going to crop, use the crop tool to crop the left and the right junk out. So there we go. That's a good start. Here we are back in Photoshop and it's actually not that bad. We're on our way. The next thing that we want to do is start painting on this mask. Uh, when you brought this image in as a smart object and then used a filter on it, it created a mask. So that you can paint black on the mask and uh, it paints out the effects in certain areas. Uh, basically I'll just show you how to do it. Um, choose my paintbrush with black, 100% opacity, and I'm going to use a pretty hard edged brush, 96, and I am adjusting the size of this brush to, to a, smaller than his arm. I'm going to work on his arm first. So if I bring it in and I just start painting, you can see I'm painting back in the green image uh, on his arm. Um, if you hold shift down, you can paint a straight line in Photoshop. So click uh, paint daub, then hold shift and you can paint straight lines here, which is what I'm doing. It, it kind of speeds up the process a little bit if you got 
if you're working quickly here. So there we go, we got his arm done. I'm gonna go down to his leg and paint his leg in. I can see the outline of it anyways here. Boom. Down there. If I overpaint a part, I can uh, choose to paint back in white just to refine the edge a bit. But again, you wanna go pretty quickly in this. Go black again and paint in the green on his face. And I'll paint his arm back in. Again, this is going pretty quickly. I, I am talking as I'm doing this, which is kind of hard for me, but I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, I'm just adjusting the brush size for his ears. Um, and I'm almost done. And there we go. I'm totally happy with this. The Green Goblin was totally happy with this. I was able to print it out and have a nice souvenir for him. Uh, again, this is PhotoKey Pro with Photoshop. And if you're doing a photo booth at a comic convention, for example, or a place where people are going to be wearing different colors, um, it's an excellent, excellent workflow. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials and updates. You can like me on Facebook. You can head to my website, vertphotography.com, for more of my work. Thanks for watching.